Hello, this is Steve Cronin from My Favorite Pool Builder. We are your North Florida and Southern Georgia swimming pool building company. We offer commercial and residential concrete pool building and remodeling. We are also fiberglass and swimming pool dealer and installers. To top this off, we're also eco-finish pool refinishers. If you need to change your concrete pool into a fiberglass functioning pool or take your fiberglass pool and refinish it to make it look like new. This is a quick video on how to set up your Pentair IntelliFlow variable speed variable flow pump that we're installing at a job. This is a control panel. If you see where my finger is pointing there's a green light that means there's power to the pump but the pump is shut off. Next I want to show you the panel itself. There's four buttons across the top one two three and four those are set up to be used as push buttons for certain speeds times and that type of stuff below those you have a back and to the right of that you have a save then you have a four arrows up down right and left with a select in the middle to the right of that you have menu the four buttons on the bottom from left to right is quick clean that's how you would clean your pool outside of a schedule timeout you press that to service your pool it shuts the pump down for predetermined time next to that's the green and red button that's your start stop button a light above it will be lit up when the pump is turned on to run right now it's actually turned off reset would be the right of that if you had an alarm and had to reset it for failure to prime or anything else that's how you'd reset it to start again you see the light above my finger that's the green light that lets you know that the pump is powered up and you can look above in the screen you can see running the schedule right now the schedule is not requiring anything to happen because it's outside of its time frame so it says running schedule nothing's happening zero rpms zero watts and it shows the correct time above as you can see number one selected the top side shows its egg timer the speed is 2550 rpms it's not running yet because it shows zero watts now speed 2 selected at 2,050 RPMs. The egg timer shows a 3 hours and 10 minute run time, 633 watts. The very bottom shows it's running speed 2. Now speed 3 showing 1,550 RPMs. The egg timer showing 3 hours and 10 minutes, 199 watts. Speed 4 is set up more for our customers. What we do is we set up the egg timer, 2,000 RPMs for 10 minutes. This allows us to look at our flow meter that we install on our DE filter systems to know whether or not the filter needs to be cleaned or backwashed. This is the flow meter that we use. You can see it's at 40 gallons per minute right now. The pump is set up at 2,000 RPMs for 10 minutes. This is how we tell whether or not we need to backwash and clean the DE filter. And after you recharge it, if it's still dropping down, it's time to take and split the case and clean out the cartridges and the pleats by themselves. When you press the menu button, the first thing that comes up is settings. As you scroll down through settings, you'll see date and time. That's how you set the date and time and hour of the pump. Next is minimum maximum. This is where you set the maximum gallons per minute in the flow and also the RPM the pump will run. This will avoid over stressing the plumbing. Next is device, so you have to set a name of the pump if you're using automation, and then alarm log. This is where if you have an issue with the pump shutting down, is where you look to find out why it's shutting down after you've reset it several times. After settings comes program one through eight. Program one through four are the buttons that you see in the picture that's set up for egg timers, countdown timers, and that type of stuff. Programs five, through eight are disabled, you have to set them up as a schedule, and you can either run them as speed, flow, start, stop. When you press select from here, it'll drop down to program one. Once you're in program one, select again, and this will get you to where you can choose one through eight to make whatever changes in the schedule or egg timers that you choose to do. Program one on this pump is set up as an egg timer, but you could select this mode right now and change it to schedule or disable. Once you're in a section like this, you're happy with your selection, either egg timer or schedule, press save and hit back. That'll put you back up to the selection modes that you're running through. This pump is set at speed, but you can select this and change from speed to flow, vice versa. Once you've made your selection, press save, hit back. 
Speed and flow work the same. This is showing speed. Once you get to that point, you hit select. A black cursor will pop up on one digit. Use the right left arrows to move back and forth. Select the digit and make the changes that you want to make to change the value that you're after. For example, if you wanted to change this from 2550 just to 2500, you would hit select, arrow left two times to the five, push the button down, arrow down five times, that'd make a zero, hit save, and then hit back. Here with the egg timer version of it, you would hit select, arrow over to what you want to run your time. Default, it would be 10 minutes, zero hours. We change our one, two, and three egg timers to three hours and 10 minutes. I'm skipping to program five. This is where we set up a schedule to actually make the pump turn on and turn off at. Arrow down to program five and press select and it'll bring up schedule. Arrow down again and allow you to choose speed or flow. We chose speed. Arrow down again and it'll show you the speed that it's set at. This is where you would select arrow right left to get to the number you want to make any changes that you want. Save your changes. When you change your speed, hit save and back. Then you're at a start time. We're setting this one to start up at 6 a.m. in the morning. You have to scroll up or down to get to a.m. and p.m. That's how you would change it. So if you were at 6 a.m., you'd scroll up 12 times to be at 6 p.m. Once you've done that, hit save back, and now you're at shutoff time. We're setting this one for 7.01 a.m. Once you set your shutoff time, you would hit save back, get to the main menu by hitting back, turn the power off, turn it back on on the lower where my finger is, and then from there, it'll show running schedule. At this point, it's 11.45 on this pump, and we only set it to run from 6 to 7.01 a.m., so there's no reason for the pump to run. Program six is the same as five, also seven and eight. You would do everything the same way as we did in five. The only thing I wanna show you is one thing about time overlap. Like in program five, you would go through schedule, down to speed, change your speed if you need to in the speed section, you select that. Then you get to start time, which we're starting at 7 a.m. Schedule five, we shut down at 7.01. The overlap will allow whichever pump speed is higher to run for that one minute. This will avoid the pump trying to shut down and restart quickly. We're setting our shutdown time for 11 01 a.m. Keep in mind this pool is just being set up to run temporarily for now just for this demonstration. Also the water is in the 40 degree mark here right now so it doesn't really need to run as much. The thermal mode is more important for us right now which we'll get into in just a minute. Thermal mode is in features and we're going to go through features kind of quick because it basically works the same way as everything else. It's just toggling up and down and making the changes that you need to make in each individual section. Timeout's used, it's in the feature section, to make it where you can actually shut the pump down for a predetermined time, say 15 minutes, half hour, hour. So it allows the technician to clean the pool filter. I normally just hit the stop start and turn the pump off. The danger of that though is, is if you forget to turn the pump back on, now it's not gonna run its schedule. Quick clean is set up just like everything else in the system. You have to select it, set your speed, set your time. Uh, normally we set it for 10 hours, at the high speed setting of the pump, like 2500, 2350, something like that. It's used to take and clean the pool when you're out of schedule. For example, you had a party in the middle of the night, you know, eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever, and you're done, and you wanna start the pool cleaning, you would hit quick clean and it run through to, for the 10 hours we program it for. Then after that, it would shut off if it's not in schedule. If it was in schedule, it actually would just switch over to the schedule. Generally priming, I just lower the speed that it primes at so it's not revving up so high. I go to 2000 RPMs and leave the time alone. So far, thermal mode has been set up from the factory, but you just want to check to make sure it's correct and it's on. Make sure it's enabled just by going through the menus just like we've been doing. Check your speed versus, I use speed instead of flow. Speed comes set from the factory at 1000 RPMs and the temperature is generally set at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Hope this has helped. If you have any questions, email us. Thanks a lot.